So actually, all right, so today in that, but I'm not. Then they are not doing this. So they are the harsh ones, right? Reality is very much harsh. So now the question is, what does it mean by twelve links of dependent origination? It has the connotation, or it is basically speaking about the reality. I think the majority are Tibetan speaking. Thank you. 
Understand Buddhism, uh, it should not be simply confined to mere faith and mere prayers, because faith and prayer is something which is commonly found in other religious uh, traditions as well. So now the question is, what is the distinctive feature of Buddhism? So here, it is to, it is to use one's intelligence to the maximum. This is the distinctive feature of Buddhism, and um, again. To utilize this wisdom to the maximum, it is important to establish what is the reality and what is not, and also to ascertain what is, uh, which is which and which, which, which isn't the, the other, and so forth. So accordingly, then one is to embrace those things, those virtuous actions, which are benefit to oneself, and abandon those negative, uh, negativities. Because um, the very desire for happiness is something very, uh, which is instinctually existent in all sentient beings. And because of understanding the reality, we adopt all those uh, causes which give rise to the uh, pleasurable experiences. And because of understanding the, the respective causes of uh, the suffering and so forth, we have to abandon those causes. So this is how one engages in the ethical discipline of Buddhism. So here, in order to engage in this ethical discipline, it is very important to see the reality. Without that, you cannot possibly do it appropriately. <clears throat> and then, in relation to this, in Buddhism, there is a tremendous emphasis on the mention of uh, the two kinds of distorted views. One, the distorted view of denigration, and the other, the distorted view of uh, irrification. So again, what does it mean by the distorted view of denigration or the extreme of denigration? It means that uh, when, you, when you don't understand the reality and then under, underestimates the, uh, the thing, so that is you are lacking something in it. You are lacking in ways of perceiving the reality. So here, this is the extreme of uh, denigration. And whereas when one views, when one overview something, or when you try to exaggerate the existence of the, the object there, that is the, the uh, extreme of uh, reification or exaggeration. So Buddhism very much emphasized on eradicating or abandoning these two kinds of distorted views. So how to abandon that, once again, we have to depend on a valid view or a correct view. So the correct view having the capacity to overcome both the two extremes. So whether you are dealing at a conventional level or in the ultimate sense, it is very important in both cases, it is very important to, uh, to adopt to a um, valid view or a realistic view. So, so it is by means of overcoming the distorted views that you can possibly um, engage or embrace with the view which understands the reality. And in the Buddhist epistemology, there is the mention as to how um, one can achieve the two kinds of resultant state. The resultant state, uh, resultant state which is uninterrupted from the, uh, the, from the valid uh, cognition and the other uh, interrupted, uh, interrupted from the valid cognition. So the one which is interrupted is quite com complex. And here, if we are to deal with the one uninterrupted result of the valid cognition, um, <coughs> whether in terms of achieving the higher 
for favorable births or whether in terms of achieving the ultimate state of enlightenment and so forth. Again, it is very important that you should uh, ground everything on a valid cognition or a view which understands the reality. So it is on this basis, it is on the basis of establishing the reality that <clears throat> one can engage in the various actions. And then, so it is on this account that the Buddha taught the concept of dependent origination. And this dependent origination, uh, it has to be understood again in two different levels. One, dependent origination by means of dependence on causes and conditions, and other dependent origination by means of dependence on the designating factors. So this understanding of dependent origination forms the very root, the very fundamental of Buddhism. It is on this basis that there is a tremendous, a tremendous emphasis on the teachings of the basis, the path, and the result. So here, uh, we could rightly see that Buddhism is to be appreciated in terms of uh, its capacity to establish the reality. First of all, introducing, uh, introducing the reality and then establishing the reality and accordingly, then you act. So this is what is to be understood when we speak about embracing Buddhism. And it should not be simply uh, appreciated or it should not be simply understood in terms of mere faith or mere devotion.